Welcome back to this week's episode of The Hobbit's Destiny. With Zach, Valentina, and Holly. While we don't see any new destinies this week, we see how the destinies mentioned last week are unfolding and how they affect the story. Last week, we mentioned how Bilbo is destined to become more adventurous and courageous. In the second section of the book, we can see him begin to fulfill this destiny as he awakens his Took side. We see this first when Bilbo fights off giant spiders throughout chapter 8. He darted backwards and forwards, slashing at the spider threads, hit hacking at their legs, and stabbing at their fat bodies if they came too near, stated on page 9- 191. Bilbo's courage and bravery becomes very prominent as he defends not only himself, but the rest of the group. We also saw Bilbo becoming more of a leader in the Wood Elves' cavern. All the dwarves were captured and Gandalf was gone, so it was up to Bilbo to find a way to break the dwarves out. Earlier in the story, we would have expected Bilbo to be timid, and he would not have known what to do in the situation. He would have probably looked at Gandalf or Thorin to ask for help, but instead, Bilbo took charge and came up with a plan. Bilbo's character grew immensely since the start of the story. We're starting to see that whenever the doors get stuck somehow, Bilbo takes a bigger and bigger role each time in helping them continue on their way. This resulted in the doors having more and more respect for Bilbo as the story progresses. When Bilbo was first introduced to the dwarves on page 22, Gollum said he looks more like a grocer than a burglar. All of the dwarves were doubting Bilbo and didn't think that they would help them, that he would help them in their journey. They thought that he was just going to be dead weight and would cause them more harm than good. Yet, time and time again, Bilbo has proved to be one of the most valuable members of the team. The narrator of the story even says this on pages 253 and 256. There, they would have all been killed if it had not been for Bilbo once again. And already they had come to respect little Bilbo. Now he had become the real leader in their adventure. He had begun to have ideas and plans of his own. We see time and time again that Bilbo becomes more and more of a leader than the follower. Some of the examples we, in- we see include when Bilbo refuses to leave the doors once they have been captured and instead ventured into the new dangerous place. Bilbo hesitated in the rear. He did not at all like the look of the cavern mouth, and he only made up his mind not to desert his friends just in time to scuttle over the heels of the last elves on page 199, and he stayed there for over two weeks in any hope for a plan in helping the dwarves escape. Another example seen in Bilbo's development of his took side is his continuous effort to persevere no matter how hopeless the situation might seem. We see this once he had spent some time in the Wood Elf's cavern and was losing hope of escape, but not only did he find hope in himself to continue, by doing so he found Thorin and gave him more ambition to continue. At the time when Thorin was found, he was at his very lowest. He was ready to give up on his destiny and go home. If it had not been for Bilbo, Thorin would not have been rescued and the rest of the dwarves would have been without their leader. Thorin was too wretched to be angry any longer at his misfortunes and was even beginning to think of telling the king all about his treasure and his quest on page 203. Luckily, Bilbo found Thorin before he had totally lost hope. Thorne had taken heart again hearing how the hobbit had rescued his companions from the spiders and was determined once more not to ransom himself with promises to the king of a share in, in the treasure on page 204. Bilbo had reignited the spear in each of the dwarves and motivated them to continue on their quest. Another example of Bilbo's leadership in the group is when he found the way into the mountain through the secret door. The dwarves were prepared to give up and thought they were not going to be able to get their treasure. However, it is Bilbo's destiny to get the dwarves their treasure, and he was able to open the secret door. He got the dwarves access to the kingdom and one step closer to their goal. As seen on page 243, Bilbo sat gloomy in the grassy bay gazing at the stone. He had a queer feeling that he was waiting for something. It's Bilbo's destiny to help the dwarves to their goal, and in multiple parts throughout this section, we have found that Bilbo is the main reason that the dwarves have even been able to get this far in their quest. And that concludes this week's episode of The Hobbit's Destiny. We look forward to seeing you next week in our final discussion of how destiny plays a role in The Hobbit.